I wanted to take the Godox ML60 lights on a true run and gun shoot to really put them to the test and see what they're made of. These lights are compact, like super compact, the size of a soda compact, which is really cool. But don't let it small size fool you. These lights are extremely powerful, they're durable, and they're perfect for shooting indoor or outdoor on the fly. ML60 sets up in seconds, is daylight balanced, and has 60 watts of power. Perfect for what we needed for this run and gun shoot. I really liked how portable they are. You can easily move them anywhere in a matter of seconds and they'll achieve some fantastic results. The goal was to capture some high-end branding content of a baseball player in his element. It's winter time here in the US, so it's baseball's off season. Fortunately, we were lucky enough to shoot future big league standout Colby Porter inside a batting cage facility. Special thanks to Chris Etheridge, coach of the Dallas Tigers, for helping us out. Something that is familiar with most run and gun filmmaking is showing up to a location without ever seeing it before. That was exactly what we were faced with on this shoot. Not only that, but we had a very short amount of time to capture all of our footage. Since time was of the essence, our goal was to quickly use the lights to achieve a dramatic look, but only allow ourselves minutes to do so. The first thing that I noticed is that the location had several orange colored skylights in the roof. Since we were shooting during the day with very little time, there was really no way to block the natural sunlight from shining through. I chose to use this as an advantage. Plus, the ceiling of the location had a really interesting industrial look, especially when we kicked on the house fluorescent lights. Now that we knew that the ceiling was gonna be the intended background, I quickly placed one ML60 slightly behind our subject. I angled it to where he had a touch of backlight, which pulled him away from the background. The light was angled in a way that helped illuminate the details of his shirt and hands. This light was set at 1% power. From there, I then placed another ML60 in the direction he was looking. Since this was his front light, I used the ADS60S softbox to achieve a softer, more natural look across his face. The softbox was definitely the quickest softbox I've ever set up. It even had a little zipper opening for easy access when connecting it to the light. This light was angled slightly away from the subject and set at 12% power. From there, I added a little haze to the background for some atmosphere. For the next setup, I wanted to get much more dramatic. I placed the subject in a corner that was surrounded by dark walls. The dark corner still had some orange casting from the skylights overhead. So I decided to add a blue gel to the reflector on the light and placed it directly behind the subject. The orange from the skylights works as his front fill light and the dramatic blue light from the ML60 helps add an intensity to the overall look, as if he's in the zone. This light was set at 10% power. To add a bit more dimension, I placed another ML60 on the ground. I angled it up to illuminate the back wall and to naturally highlight the netting for more detail and depth. The light bouncing off the wall also gave me a little more light to help fill the right side of the frame with some additional ambient light. This light was set to 4% power. Haze was also added for atmosphere. Another fun feature with these lights are the built-in effects. The ML60 has eight different modes that allow for lightning flashes, paparazzi, ambient TV light, and many more. For this scene, I wanted to show how these effects can be used to add some drama. These lights were a lot of fun to experiment with, and another way we used them to create drama was by holding them by hand and moving them side to side. This allows for maximum flexibility and can create a pretty nice effect on the subject. All in all, the Godox ML60 is as portable and powerful of light you could ask for, allowing for quick and easy setups with outstanding results. It really is power in your hands. Thank you for watching. Happy filmmaking.